So this is the JSO HB0604 Steam Deck compatible dock. Wow, that's a long name. It's a pretty regular USB-C dock. It looks nice, it works great. But here's why this SSD enclosure in the dock is a lot more useful to me than you think. Let's get into the review. So yes, it has an NVMe enclosure embedded. It's a cool feature that most docks don't have, but in the same time it's not that uncommon as well. Its main functionality is to add extra storage to your Steam Deck, so depending on your needs and preferred way of playing, this may not be what you're looking for. If you mainly use the Steam Deck in handheld mode, then most likely you will not use this feature, or any other regular dock for that matter. When I first asked for this model, I had this scenario in mind. I'll have my regular games directly on the internal SSD or my SD card, and the bigger ones and especially the ones which require a mouse and keyboard on this external SSD. So basically I was creating two different modes for my Steam Deck, one handheld and one docked, depending on my needs and the games I want to play. It sounded pretty cool in my mind. I know it's not for everyone, but I was really excited about this. Oh, and when I was doing an unboxing of the dock, I already had prepared the 1TB NVMe SSD to put into the dock, but JSO were more than kind enough to already add one inside. That's a great touch by them, and I want to thank them for hooking me up with this docking station. So once I got it, something else popped in my mind. What if I finally give Windows on Steam Deck a shot without touching the internal SSD at all? What if I can simply install Windows on this external SSD and create a full-fledged Steam Deck PC setup? And once I simply remove the Type-C connection, the Steam Deck is back to its clean state. And that's exactly what I did. And I'll show you in a minute. I will not go through the full process of installing Windows on an external SSD, as this is not new at any means, and it's not something specific for the Steam Deck, so you can find a lot of videos on how to do this. What do you need to know is that once it is installed, you'll have to go into the Steam Deck's boot menu by pressing volume down key when power it is up, and select the external drive, and that's mainly it. Alright, so Windows is installed. We need to remember that this is still a dock, so it has several ports that you will find useful. You can still charge the Steam Deck via the USB-C port, which supports up to 100W charge, you can plug in an Ethernet cable on the side, you can add a mouse and keyboard, and some several other accessories with the regular USB ports. I actually have a few interesting accessories that I'll feature in a new video soon, so stick around for that. And we also have an HDMI port to hook it up to your monitor. It supports 4K 60Hz and 1440p 120Hz. And that's basically it. So I've installed several games from different launchers just to test them out. My overall impression is that this works better than I expected, I haven't had any issues with the games I installed, and if I compare the game with playing the same ones via SteamOS, I do notice the frame rate is not exactly the same, so the optimization still looks better on the SteamOS, but not really by much. This truly is a full desktop setup that I can actually use for gaming. This setup may not be for everyone, but I am super excited for this. I mean, think about it, Steam Deck just became a 2 one device with two completely different experiences. Tell me this is not exciting. All of this without touching the internal configuration of the Steam Deck and it was all possible through one single device. Now let's talk about the design a bit as well. The JSO dock is pretty standard looking, similar to other manufacturers, even to the official Valve one. It has all the ports that you need, even an internet one, then we have a dedicated room for the Steam Deck to sit on, and on top the USB-C cable that plugs in the Steam Deck. And an important aspect of the USB-C port is that it is pretty long and I have no issues with using this with any of my cases. Maybe some other thicker ones can impact it, but by the looks of it, it's better than other docks. JSAW is also selling separately an adapter that you can use it for the exact same reason, so have that in mind as well. So related to the SSD enclosure, this is very easy to install. It supports multiple SSD sizes and you are provided with some silicone locks to keep it in place. This did not come with a charger, but recently JSAW announced on Twitter that they updated their prices and they now include a 65W charger as well. Even better, if you order one before this update, you can now ask for a charger or a $20 refund. That's a really great move from JSON in my opinion. Ok, so what do you think about this JSON dock? Or any other dock for that matter? Is this something you regularly use with your Steam Deck? Or you are the type that mostly plays on handheld? Also, let me know down in the comments if you have any questions that I haven't answered yet, and then I'll make sure to come with an update. And before we wrap this up, 
make sure to check out some other videos in tech related right here on the channel and maybe hit the like button to help me out. And a subscribe would mean the world to me if you consider this video was worth it. So that's it for now, this is the Tech Unravel and I'll catch you in the next video.